Hey water signs, I'm Rodin. Welcome to Water Baby Tarot presented by Balmy Spirit. I'm gonna be doing the channeling and crystal readings for you guys. This is gonna be for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Now for those who are new to my channel or new to these kind of videos that I do, people have been around for a while, y'all know where the timestamps are, you guys know how this works. But for those who are new, I used two decks, the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle deck and Crystals, the Stone deck, to pull cards to see what crystals are recommended for you guys for the month. And then I pull tarot cards to see why you need those crystals. Now, as always, these are just recommendations. You don't got to go out and buy these crystals. I do the tarot reading and the crystal portion because some people really are into crystals and want to learn about them. Other people just want to know what's going on and what's up, okay? I always read the descriptions of the crystals so you guys can gauge for yourself if you really need them or not. And if this is resonating for you, it's up to you to decide if it's for you or not, okay? All right, water signs. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to use this deck first. All right, let's see. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio for the month of July. Oh, happy birthday, July Cancers, by the way. Happy birthday. Actually, that being said, Cancers, let's just do you first. Why not? Let's do you guys first. What crystals are best for my Cancers for the month of July? You're feeling pretty hopeful. I like it, Cancer. You're feeling pretty good. Your spirits have been uplifted is what I want to say. Yeah, your spirits have been uplifted. Up <laughs> your spirits have been uplifted. What crystals are good for my cancers for the month of July? What crystals are good for my cancers for the month of July? What crystals are good for my cancers for the month of July? There's so, this has been coming up for uh, quite a few signs just because we do have a lot of eclipse energy going on, Cancer. So expect the unexpected. Very, very typical for eclipse season, and especially we had three back to back, and the post shadow is for six months. So we're in basically three cycles of eclipse energies for the month of July, okay? I do feel unexpected circumstances or unexpected events will be happening, but it feels very good. It feels very positive. Like almost get like an Ace of Pentacles. Uh, sun energy off of that. Yes, I do. T I speak, tarot speak. Uh, it's the best way to communicate when I'm doing readings. But yeah, it just feels good. It feels good. Just maintain hope. I do believe you're manifesting cancer. almost called you Capricorn. Uh, yeah, I do believe that you might be dealing with Capricorn, but of course we have the full moon Capricorn in July. Uh, I do think you're manifesting, and I think your manifestation is going to work. Well, crystals are good for my cancers for the month of July. A lot of you are just trying to manifest a new beginning or a new project or something new in your life. It's interesting. You're not really necessarily looking to end something. You want to start something. Oh, Cancers, for some of you, something needs to end for you to have whatever this new thing is. Okay? So you might not realize that or might not want to believe that. Well, crystals are good for my Cancers for the month of July. Yeah, but you guys don't have any crystals yet. Probably a good sign, positive sign. Look, ooh, Citrine. All right, yeah, you guys are manifesting. Citrine is really good for manifestation. It's also good for creativity, giving yourself a little bit of an energy booster. Yeah, like I said, I just feel like you're manifesting. You're trying to bring in something new, start something new. Again, I keep getting the feeling that some of you don't realize that something does have to end to make space for that. Tiger's eye. Cancers, it's going to be your month. Holy shit. A lot of you, this is just about your own career. Tiger's eye with Citrine. I mean, that's definitely like go getter. I'm building. I'm creating. Don't get in my way. And I'm going to be successful no matter what. You're definitely manifesting. What other crystals are good for my Cancers? The month of July. Wow, that's it. Citrine and Tiger's eye for the first deck. Let's go ahead and read these off and then I'll get into the second deck. Okay. Citrine, abundance, a stone of joy and abundance. Citrine helps you to interact creatively with the world. It promotes inner calm. You spend too much time worrying about home, family, and finances. Of course you do, Cancer. <laughs> Remember, you're an abundant being who manifests what you need. You are an innocent, wise child who yearns to play. Joyful play creates a wonderful world. Be grateful for you are blessed. Accept constructive criticism. Become emotionally balanced, letting feelings flow naturally. Take time out for joyful play. Self-regard heals a damaged child. Abundance 
abundance is all around you. You attract success and prosperity. Stop worrying, be optimistic, and allow life to happen. Trust your intuition and perception. Consult the wise child within. Your thoughts on the bigger picture are correct. If there is family discord, harmony is restored through praise. True abundance comes from within. If you nurture your desires, you will bring joy to your wise child self. The frequency of the stone is high. It's great for all the chakras, for Aries, Geminis, Leos, and Libras, and embodying abundance. I'm excited to do your reading, Cancer, when we get to the tarot cards. Let's see. Tiger's Eye. Tiger's Eye symbolizes prosperity, encourages right use of power. Uh, I'm getting a lot of confidence. Like, make sure that you're really... I mean, I feel like it's here with these two crystals, to be honest with you. I feel like it's there, but some of you might need to, like, really just check in with yourself on your confidence level, almost like protecting your confidence to maintain it, to keep it intact. Uh, let's see. Tiger's eye symbolizes prosperity, encourages right use of power. It balances your needs with those of others finding solutions. A child of the sun and earth with untold powers, you make your own fate. Assert yourself wisely, bring hidden talents to the fore, and accept your imperfections. There is a tendency towards obsessiveness or becoming spaced out. Ground yourself. Explore your past lives to discover causes of these traits. Deal sensibly with day-to-day -day reality and face challenges boldly. Unlock your creativity, find prosperity, and lasting success. Long journeys and celebrations lie ahead. Your personal power, confidence, and energy are high. Use them wisely. Commit to goals. Distinguish between wishful thinking and what you really need. Assist friends to gain their heart's desire. Past lives throw light on current situations. Doing what gives you joy increases your well-being. The frequency of the stones earthy to high depending on the color. Great for solar plexus and the third eye. For Leos and Cappies and becoming empowered. All right, Cancer, look at you. All right, let's go ahead and use the other deck and see what crystals want to come out for that one. And don't worry, I'll show you all these at the end. What crystals are good for my Cancers for the month of July? Yeah, a lot of like fire energy with this. You might have Leo in your chart or you could be a cusper. What crystals are good for my cancers for the month of July? Yeah, you're definitely trying to make something happen. What crystals are good for my cancers for the month of July? Like you're aware of it. It's not going to just fall in your lap, but I do feel some of you might have a tower moment to make space to truly manifest what it is you're, you're actually trying to bring into your reality here. Well, crystals are good for my cancers for the month of July. One more. Okay. What other crystals are good for my cancers for the month of July? Oh, okay. Tibetan black quartz. I, I, I feel like that's just making space, to be honest with you. I mean, quartz in general is really good for cleansing, for maintaining your balance, also for uh, enhancing your higher consciousness. I feel like it's just to keep you on track, honestly. Just keep you on track with your ideas, whatever it is you're trying to pull in. Keep your energy nice. Keep your energy nice and clean, actually, is what I want to say. What other... I'm not going to take those. What other crystals? Oh, Lord. <laughs> this deck really wants to talk. What other crystals are good for my cancers for the month of July? Okay. Ooh, rose quartz. Manifest from the heart, cancer. I think you already know how to do that, but I think you already know to do that. I mean, it is how we manifest, but I have felt the need to tell you that. Manifest from the heart. Some of you are just chasing whatever your heart's desire is. Whatever your soul is like, go get it, go get it, go get it. Some of you are trying to bring in or elevate um, a relationship um, or bring something in for a relationship. Some of you, it's definitely about that. Some of you, whatever you're manifesting is really about putting you first because you're not used to doing that. Obviously not for everybody. These are just messages I'm getting. What other crystals are good for my cancers for the month of July? What other crystals are good for my cancers for the month of July? Okay, let's see what we have here. Citrine, again, all right. So you guys got a repeat, Citrine. Um, I would say definitely maybe want to get Citrine as a priority. So you don't have that many, like I said, so very positive. So from the first uh, deck, we have Citrine and Tiger's Eye, just showing that again for those who didn't get it the first time. And now we have 
Tibetan black quartz, rose quartz, and citrine. And I'm going to go ahead and read these off for you guys, but just so you guys get it now. All right. Tibetan black quartz. The black in Tibetan black quartz references the storm-like bursts of an inky mineral often found inside the stone. The Tibetan references the crystal's Himalayan origins. Tibetan black quartz reminds those on the spiritual path to non-judgmentally ask, could I be even clearer right now? People who need it, metaphysicists, occultists, tantrists, and Sagittarians, where to put it, wherever you are looking to elevate the vibe, operate on a higher plane, and explore the vastness of your human consciousness. When to use it, when you're chasing enlightenment on the meditation cushion, when you're pulling tarot cards, lighten up your spiritual path. Again, I feel like it's just to keep your energy clean, is what I want to say, um, and just keep you very focused. Rose Quartz. Rose Quartz is love in rock form. People who need it, the overly self-critical, sentient spiritual beings who love deeply, those in the healing arts are those who want to be. Where to put it, in spaces you want zone safe and sacred, held with both hands to your heart with the utmost loving kindness. When to use it, when you feel like you always have to be the one to have it all figured out, to work the hardest, to hold it all together for everyone else. Rose Quartz gives us a pink cashmere covered platform to be soft, sweet, and open to spirit. Take care of your heart. Like I said, there's a under clear understanding here for you, Cancer, that you need to manifest from the heart space. Um, like pulling it in with love is almost what I want to say. And a lot of you, whatever it is you want to create is something that you've been wanting for yourself, not just for other people for quite some time. Some of you, it is about like creating a new relationship, manifesting a new relationship, or elevating or bringing in something new for a relationship, okay? And then we have Citrine again. I'll read the description of this one as well. Uh, Citrine, a must-have for wannabe makers of art and money. <laughs> Citrine is a pale gold to smoky brown quartz. Uh, those candy yellow citrines you find at shops are actually heated amethyst, which is another beast altogether. Oh, that's fascinating. <laughs> People who need it, anyone with a anyone with a big idea or a big dream, probably you, where to put it, wherever you set intentions, placing some citrine in your pocket each morning makes an energetic statement like greatness is out there and I'm coming for it. When to use it, when it's time to really get on your grind and start creating the tomorrow of your dreams today. Manifest your masterpiece. Keep manifesting, Cancer. Let's go ahead and see what the tarot cards have in store for you. I'm going to use Tarot Illuminati for this one. Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of July? I, yeah, I keep hearing have hope, have hope, have hope. I feel like you do. I mean, maybe whatever this is you're trying to like bring into reality, maybe it seems a little big. Like maybe it seems... I don't think you think it's impossible because I think you're very confident that you can pull this off. But maybe to the average person, it seems impossible or it just seems like unrealistic. I guess that's what it is. For, for many people, I think whatever it is you're trying to bring in seems unrealistic here or it's been taking you a very long time, okay? But I don't feel like your hope has wavered, but maybe for some of you it has. One of my cancers need these crystals for the month of July. Yeah, some of you, there's a really old dream of yours. And I want to use the word dream specifically. One of my cancers need these crystals for the month of July. What am I? Let's see what we got here. Ooh, hmm. Lovers in reverse. <laughs> Gemini energy. Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy. And then we have Justice. Oh, Cancer. Libra energy. Oh, the Seven of Pentacles and Justice. It's almost like you're trying to figure out how to make something right. Um, yeah, it's like you're trying to figure out how to make something right or to put something right. Like almost like you have to pull this off because it's needed. You have to pull this off because it's actually, I just keep wanting to use the word right. Um, it's what's deserved. It's what's needed. And it is for you, but I do feel for a lot of you, it does connect to someone else. You know, a connection that may not be in the greatest of um, standings. I'll say it that way. In the greatest of standings right now. 
So it's almost like you have an idea and you're like, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can pull this off. For some of you, lovers in reverse can also be about uh, decisions or imbalance, like not really being grounded or not really being um, unified or balanced in your own energy. Something just feels off is what I'm gathering. Something went wrong. Something is off. It just needs to be fixed. <laughs> it needs to be fixed. It needs to be rectified. What's deserved needs to happen. That's where you, that's your motivation. What is deserved needs to happen. And some of you, you're just thinking like, well, my dream needs to come true and that's what needs to happen. You know what I mean? Seven of Pentacles though, that is about like consequences of effort. Yeah, I just keep getting that. Like it needs to happen. It needs to happen. It needs to happen. It needs to happen. Yeah, some of you I think have been trying to make this happen for quite a long time or there's already been a lot of desire behind it. It's not desperate. I don't like that word. I'm trying to think of a better word to describe what I'm feeling here. Like it just needs to. Like I think that's just how it is in your head. It just needs to. It just needs to happen. What's deserved needs to happen. And in some of you, that's just your dream. Why else do my cancers need these crystals for the month of July? There is this like intense focus I'm feeling with you, Cancer. And I think that's just like how you manifest. You're almost hyper-focused on it. Whoa, six of cups in reverse, scorpionic energy. So this could involve children or family because we do have the six of cups here. Um, six of cups is also a soul energy, like karmic, past life, um, your soul. <laughs> That's what I mean by soul energy or even soul connections. Yeah, something in the past did not go right. Something in the past was not okay, not cool, wasn't handled properly, or left you feeling very, very disappointed. Uh, I'm also getting inner child stuff. I'm also getting a lot of inner child stuff. It could be that um, whatever it is that you're like, no, I do deserve this and I'm going to make this happen because it needs to happen. It's almost like doing it for your inner child. Oh, cancer. Yeah, it is a little bit like that. Kind of making it happen for your own inner child here. A lot of love, though. I'm feeling that. Like, a lot of what the source of this is, is desire or love. Like, and again, it just feels what is deserved. And in your head, it just needs to happen. So it's just going to happen. And that's how you manifest. Overall, we do have the four of wands. Aries energy with the king of swords. Aquarius. I just heard Libra. Very strong. Even though I was, I was starting trying to say Aquarius or Libra super loud. So that could uh, be significant to you. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. So clarity on stability could even be clarity on a relationship or clarity on marriage. Yeah, this is you being very self-assured. Whether you're male or female doesn't matter. Don't get caught up on the gender here. But yeah, very, very aggressive, very aggressive, <laughs> very aggressive, very clear-headed and very focused. Yeah, you're, you as the king of swords, it, you're just, you're going to just make this happen. No question. It's, it's just matter of fact to you, <laughs> which I love. I love that cancer. It's just matter of fact. Underneath that, we do have the Wheel of Fortune in a verse. Jupiter energy, ooh. With the Queen of Pentacles in a verse, Capricorn energy could also be earth or water. Uh-oh, who is this? And then they have the Four of Pentacles on their side. So cancer, I feel like this is your energy. Again, take it as it resonates. You could be this Queen of Pentacles. I don't think so, though. I think you're this King of Swords. You got this Wheel of Fortune right smack dab in the middle of them, of these two energies. And then you got a Queen of Pentacles over here. Whoever this is, they can't let go of something. And this could also be your own, your own energy, right? This could be the part of you that feels slighted or is having trouble bringing in this thing that like I deserve, I deserve, right? This could be the part of you that's really tied to whatever wounding has happened in the past. If this is like an inner child wounding thing and you want justice for yourself, bringing in something again that you feel you deserve. If that's the case where it's between you and yourself, um, you're having trouble really uniting your energies, becoming unified within yourself. And that's going to be key to getting this manifestation to come through. Because Wheel of Fortune Universe tells me that there's been some kind of block, major block or major delay. And in your mind, that's why you're like, it needs to happen. End of discussion. It needs to. It needs to. It needs to. If this is between you and another person... Whoever this person is, like, I got to be honest, Cancer, I feel like this is someone who is either, like, greedy or materialistic. They can also be someone who's very, like, 
control freak, okay? So I'm getting a bunch of different things. So I'm getting for some of you, they have a control freak kind of flavor to them. I don't know what that was. <laughs> uh, others of you, they have a very materialistic sort of side to them. Others, it's like, oh God, yeah, it's, it's just guarded, just guarded. So again, pick pick your poison if whoever this Queen of Pentacles is to you. And again, for some of you, it's just an aspect of yourself that you need to look at, figure out, and integrate in order to manifest whatever it is you're trying to bring in that, again, you feel you highly deserve. I got to be honest. I remember I was saying, like, for some of you, it's almost like you're trying to bring in a relationship or bring in a connection. For those where that's the, that's the case, there's actually someone that you need to get out of your space, okay? that you need to do away with because it's actually, it's really messing up your manifestation here and it's been making you unhappy for quite some time. That's been the trouble. Some of you, it's a mother. Interesting. Yeah, some of you, it's a mother figure. Queen of Pentacles can be like a very motherly maternal energy. And yeah, they've been messing up your manifestation. They've been getting in the way energetically. And I do want to say energetically. If they've had some kind of like, you know, intense protest against whatever it is you want or interference, I want to use the word interference, then it's a physical manifestation of that. But most of you, it's an ener energetic interference in your manifestation. Some of you are going to come to realize that very soon or in the month of July. God, that mother energy feels really strong. And yeah, some of you, you've had a really upsetting childhood because of it. Wow. So lots of energies going on here, Cancer. But like I said, you're very, very confident. You're like, needs to happen. That's it. It's just going to happen. That's it. <laughs> I love it. I love cancers when you're in that kind of energy. And like I said, some of you, the thing that's getting in the way is that you need to really heal this aspect of yourself or, or integrate that part of yourself because that's messing up your manifestation. Others of you, it's an actual person that's getting in the way of your manifestation, okay? Um, no matter who they are to you, some of you is getting a really strong mother energy, controlling and or like image greedy, materialistic focus. Uh, that control freak energy feels really strong. Very self-absorbed. I'll say it that way. For most of you, this is a person who's very self-absorbed. Ooh, okay. All right, Cancers. That's it. A lot of information though. I, I have total faith in you that you're going to make this happen because you got nothing but faith and confidence. So I know you're going to pull it off. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you're leaving me here, don't forget to check out the me on Patreon. And of course, everything else is linked below for your convenience. I'll see you guys later. Have a really good birthday, a really great month and a really good night. Namaste. Hey, water signs. Let's continue. So it's either going to be Pisces or Scorpio next. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Pisces or Scorpio. Pisces or Scorpio. Pisces or Scorpio. Pisces, okay. All right, Pisces, you're up next. Let's see what's up. What crystals are good for my Pisceans for the month of July? What crystals are good for my Pisceans for the month of July? What crystals are good for my... Why am I seeing a stadium? I'm seeing a baseball stadium to be super specific. Some of you guys might be baseball fans. I mean, sports are still canceled aren't they I don't, know. I don't i don't watch baseball i'm not a baseball fan um that could just be confirmation for some of you guys but yeah i'm like i'm seeing a baseball stadium super specific don't know what that's about i just heard the word lost pisces i feel like some of you are are having this like struggle of of either feeling like like you're getting lost in the crowd or like you're not standing out in the way you want to or you're overly exposed. It's like it's like one end of the spectrum. It's like you're either being overly exposed and you don't, and you don't like it or you're just kind of like another face in the crowd and you're kind of struggling with that feeling. That's very that's super specific. Uh what crystals are good for my Pisceans for the month of July? identity interesting identity just came in really strong uh it feels a, i gotta be honest pisces this feels a little bit like an identity crisis um yeah maybe some of you guys are just going through a lot of shadow work and it's like you're just starting to become familiar with certain aspects of yourself and maybe it's making you feel like you're not sure who you are 
Yeah, I feel like you're questioning yourself a lot. A lot. What crystals are good for my Pisceans for the month of July? Ooh, black tourmaline. Starting off strong, Pisces. So this is an energy of, uh, this is energy, excuse me. This is a crystal that is good for protecting your energy is what I was trying to say. Uh, protecting your energy, cleansing negativity out of even like your energy field, your home space, your, uh, your body, your vessel even. When black tourmaline comes out, that's usually an indication that like, you're gonna have to be around or battle or deal with some really distorted energies that can really drag you down energetically, make it just not feel very good. Um, I feel like it's more about releasing. I feel like it's more about getting something out of your body, out of your vessel, energetically speaking, as opposed to protecting you from external. Like, I don't think anything's coming at you. I feel like it's more about like, get this out of you. I feel like it's more about that. Wow, okay, I'm getting a lot of stuff, Pisces. So some of you, I think, have either gone through a major purging or you will, and it feels so massive that it almost feels like like you feel like you've just lost a part of yourself. Could have been going through a breakup as well. Very indicative of that kind of energy, but it feels like a big release or, yeah, I think that's why you're having a little bit of identity crisis. It's like you've either released so much um, or something that's been with you for so long or such a big part of who you are in your identity that you had to release or let go of that it's kind of like, whoa, 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 who am I now, you know? And it's been a party for a long time. That could be a job. Maybe you've been in the same career for like, I don't know, 20, 30 years, and that's been your whole life, and then without it, you're like, who am I? You know, it can be a little bit like that. If you've been married for 30 years, right? That same thing. Your identity has now been like significantly altered because you're letting go or purging something very huge in your life. Ooh, rainbow mayanite. So I like that this one came out here. Rainbow mayanite is more of like a higher consciousness kind of a crystal uh, to kind of and also to help you with healing as well. Yeah, and I sound, I sound like a broken record, but I just have to keep saying this. Yeah, something about your image or your identity no longer holds true or is being taken out of your life now. And you're having to take some time to like redefine yourself in a way. What other crystals are good for my Pisceans for the month of July? Whoo, garnet, another stone for uh, protecting your energy. Uh, it's also good, great for purging as well and for healing, especially any like uh, sexual energies. Wait a minute. There was an earth sign that had both of these. Taurus, Taurus. So if you're dealing with Taurus, you have that in your chart. Um, I'd watch that because they literally had just these two from this deck. Okay. All right, so these are just the three that you have from the first one. Black tourmaline, rainbow mayanite, and garnet. Black tourmaline and garnet are really common, especially black tourmaline. Everyone should have black tourmaline. But yeah, I feel like this is just trying to, trying to really deal and cope with whatever it is you've just lost and how it affects your image and identity. Okay. Black tourmaline absorbs negative energy and affords excellent energetic protection, enhancing your physical vitality. You are adaptive, ad adaptive, adjusting to new places and new situations. You have clarity of thought and analyze situations rapidly. Let go of overcautiousness, but stay protected. You sense it when people wish you ill. You may be carrying a family or past life curse, creating disease. Recognize that negative thoughts and actions harm others and yourself. Strengthen your protection. Consolidate plans and be realistic. You'll soon see the way through obstacles. In Ensure you are well protected. Ill wishing or envy may be directed your way. Neutralize bad energy without harm to others. Watch your thoughts. Attend to practical matters. Be generous and give others freedom. Uh, neutralizing toxic energies from your environment, shielding yourself from ill wishing or EMF stress, and detoxifying your body supports well being. The frequency of the stone is earthy. It's great for the earth star and the root chakras, for Capricorns, and appropriating energetic uh, shielding and enhancements. Let's go ahead and read Rainbow Mayanite. Where'd you go? There you go. 
bridges this world and the rest of creation. It heals unconditionally and assists the shift to a new level of consciousness. You are a leader. When you raise your vibrations, the whole benefits. De-energize old patterns, release karmic incrustations, and toxic droves from your etheric body. This crystal will assist in this. Go within to find your rainbow treasure house. Raise your consciousness to build new supportive structures at every level. Recognize how your soul is maneuvering you onto your true pathway. Apparently, detrimental situations offer soul gifts. Re-examine projects and let go of those that are not for your highest good or that of others. You see things from both sides. Always speak true no matter what the cost, but be tactful. You have natural healing ability. Focus it wisely. Letting go attunes you to a realm of infinite possibilities. The frequency of the stone is extremely high. Great for the soul star and stellar gateway and for Aquarians and being a rainbow bridge between worlds. Yeah, I feel like this one's going to really help you with this healing process and just try to get you like back to who you truly are. Whatever it is that you had as part of your identity and image that is being taken away, again, very significant part, it doesn't seem like it was actually true to who you are which is why it's been removed or it's been purged. And it's just going to take some time to get used to that, and that's okay. Garnet is a rejuvenating stone believed to protect against evil and terrifying dreams and to attract love. You are a passionate soul with a courageous heart. Be confident and constant. Go, go, let go of your inner demons, taboos, inhibitions, and fantasies. Recognize self-sabotage and expand your awareness into all that you can be. Virtue matters to you. You are capable of great devotion to a cause or relationship and have a strong survival instinct. Take action now. A mystery is solved and have courage. There is a way out. Turn a crisis into a learning challenge. If danger approaches, stay calm. You are protected. Be emotionally honest with yourself and others. You may attract a partner for sexual healing. Make no long-term commitment as it may fizzle out once the purpose is fulfilled. Finding an appropriate outlet for your passions and emotions creates well-being. The frequency of the stone is medium. Great for the root, the sacral, and the heart chakras. Art therapy is going to be really nice. I just heard art, art, art. Um, art therapy. Give that a try if you're really struggling through this time. Uh, it's great for Leos, Virgos, Cappies, and Aquas, and expressing your soul's passion. All right. So showing you before we move on to the other deck, one last time. Black Tourmaline, Rainbow Mayanite, and Garnet. All right, let's do the second deck. After I get a little water. Hold on a second. Okay. What other crystals are good for my Pisceans for the month of July? What other crystals are good for my Pisceans for the month of July? What other crystals are good for my Pisceans for the month of July? What other crystals are good for my Pisceans for the month of July? What other crystals are great for my Pisceans for the month of July? What other crystals are good for my Pisceans for the month of July? What other crystals are good for my Pisceans for the month of July? There we go. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, smoky quartz and blue calcite. I like it. I like it. Have faith that you can get through this, Pisces. Just get re-familiarized with yourself, okay? That's also what I want to say because, like, if you feel like you've lost a part of your identity and who you are and you're wondering who you are, it's a little hard to have faith in yourself if you're like, who am I, <laughs> right? Excuse me. Um, just really try to spend the time to get to know yourself again. Be gentle with yourself and be patient. I just want to say be patient. What other crystals are good for my Pisces for July? You're going to be rediscovering some like really old, like really old, deeply rooted uh, things that you've always wanted to try or like, you know, kind of like, oh God, where's the word? Where's the word? Not dreams. I'm just like, that's not the right word. Mm. 
wants, passions, desires. There you go. <laughs> That's like, those are some good words that are out there. Uh, like wishes, yeah, wishes, desires that you really haven't thought about in a long time because whatever you're losing again, that's been part of your identity and your image, really masked that, like really came to the forefront and almost like, I feel like the true you kind of got eclipsed out. Interesting. Okay. Wow. So does, that's it. Smoky quartz and blue calcite. I did notice at the bottom, we do have garnet again. So if we're gonna get any of these, I would suggest getting garnet since it came up twice. But let's go into smoky quartz. Uh, ranging from almost clear to nearly black, smoky quartz pairs the clarity inducing vibes of clear stones with a protective do not cross over this line vibe vibes of the black ones. People who need it, glass half empty types and space cadets. Where to put it on a chain around your neck or hidden in your pocket whenever you're certain to find difficult people in your path, family dinner tables, conference rooms or subway cars. And of course, if you're going through a difficult situation, smoky quartz is good. Not necessarily difficult people, but difficult situations. When to use it, when you fall prey to emotional vampires, when you're just too spacey and can't even, when you're embarking on a spiritual journey or a journey to pick up dry cleaning, extra points if you're, <laughs> extra points if you're thinking, what's the difference? Arm your spiritual warrior. It'll help keep you strong during this time, emotionally and energetically, okay? It, it just feels rough. It just feels deep. It feels rough. It feels like a like a dark period, but it's not necessarily bad. I think it's actually really good. It's really beneficial because you're going to have so much space, right, within yourself for the new and for the new that actually aligns to who you truly are. Blue calcite. Dreamy, calming blue calcite is the fresh from the meditation retreat, vision board making hippie of the calcite family. People who need it, people who stare up at the ceiling worrying about the future at three in the morning, where to put it on your bedside table, when to use it. When stress is the enemy, freaking out is not a prerequisite for accomplishment. Deadlines aren't death sentences. Stress will extinguish your creativity and crush your dreams if you let it. Call on the calming focused energy of blue calcite to remind you to put stress in its place far away from the joy of the process and delight of the dreaming big act on your dreams here yeah this feels like a little bit of a soul journey. you'll figure out who you truly are and what your new like who you are and what your new identity is what your new image is and i know these words sound very like superficial and i don't mean for them to be but that's just what i'm feeling whatever you've aligned yourself with previously for as long as you did it just wasn't part of your true path and that's okay it, it hurts it hurts and it's rough but it's okay it happens all right pisces let's go ahead and get into some tarot cards here actually i'm gonna use cosmic that feels very appropriate for this one why do my pisceans need these crystals for the month of july i'm carrying october whoa so something might have happened this past, past october or october coming up could be very significant for you that's interesting. I heard that really loud. Why do my Pisceans need these crystals? Ooh, okay. Oh, come back. Ran away from me. Six of Wands, Jupiter Leo energies. This is victory and attention. Getting up is actually what I just heard. Getting up, getting up, getting up. Ramping up your confidence again. I like it. We're already starting off strong, Pisces. Already starting off really strong. Why else do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of July? You're learning how to deal with resistance is what I just heard. Not in so many words, but that's basically what the gist of it was. High Priestess in reverse, Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader, King of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy could also be um, Gemini or Libra. And then we have Death in reverse, Scorpionic energy. Yeah, you're learning how to deal with resistance. Yeah, you're realizing that you've actually been, um, how do I say this? You've been accepting resistance as like a norm is what I'm gathering. So whatever path you've been walking or whoever it is you've been dealing with or aligning yourself with, again, that could be a job. It could be an environment. It could be family. It could be family. It could be a relationship. Whatever it is, it hasn't been easy. It's been a struggle, but you've just kind of accepted that as like, that's just normal. That's just what it needs to be. And that's okay. But it's been a struggle because it's not, it's not who you are. It's not part of your path. 
but you are being victorious over that. And I feel like it has created conflict within your life, even within yourself. Why else do my Pisces need these crystals for the month of July? Some of you Pisces, sorry, I just got to say this, but Pisces, some of you are realizing that you were so accustomed to struggle because it's almost like you couldn't bear for things to be okay. I think you probably just grew up in an environment where it was a struggle. So that's what you were accustomed to. And if things were just mellow and chill and quiet, it's almost like you couldn't sit with that. Like you couldn't sit in environments like that. Like you found it to be very uncomfortable. That's not for all of you. Why else am I Pisces need these crystals for the month of July? Oh, okay, okay. <sighs> yeah. Oh, there it is. There's that release of the big part of who of, of what you've identified with yourself. Queen of Wands, Aries energy, Kelsey Fire or Water with the Ten of Swords, Gemini energy, and the Star. Aquarian energy. Again, what you thought was your path, who you thought you were, it's it's being taken away from you. It's it's ending. And it's not a bad thing. It's not. Because the star card, I feel like, is acting as what you thought was your path. Who you what you thought you were supposed to have, what you thought your destiny was. You're being cut off from it because it's not it's not really who you are. Somewhere along the way, like I said, it's almost like the true you got eclipsed out. But that's, it's good though. It's good because it's basically, you're basically being, re it's basically being rectified and you're basically being put on your right path. It's just going to take some time to get through this intense uh, period of time. It's actually throwing me, you can probably tell I'm like grasping at words because I'm like, this is really overwhelming energy. Overall, we have judgment in reverse, fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader, ace of wands, Ooh, with the chariot, cancerian energy. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. Yeah, judgment in reverse can also be taken as a final ending, not just like a bad judgment call. Yeah, there's some kind of major ending and again, being cut off from the path you thought was yours or the destiny you thought was yours and literally unchaining yourself from something that wasn't meant to be or wasn't supposed to be part of who you are. That's just, that's just really how it feels. And with the devil being there, it also says that there's some kind of toxicity. And again, it felt like it was a struggle to be on that path in the first place. And the ace of wands and the chariot, I mean, you are free. You're free to follow what your truest desire actually is once you also get back in touch with yourself and who you really are and let that part of you that was eclipsed out or the whole you that was eclipsed out emerge and then basically you're back on track here. But again, it feels like whatever you aligned yourself with, it feels like it's been a long time that you've been aligned with it. So it's going to feel painful. Ten of swords is very painful, um, but it's going to be very enlightening. It's going to be very enlightening and then you will be victorious. You will. So you're going to be okay, Pisces. This was a little intense. I didn't love reading this, I'll be honest, because the, the energy I'm finding to be very distracting and a little jarring. Um, but I do hope that it was helpful and insightful. Don't forget to check out Vimeo on Patreon if you're leaving us here. And anything else you need is linked below. And I'll see you guys soon, okay? Have a good night, Pisces. Namaste. Hey, Scorpios. Let's go ahead and get into your crystal reading and channeling for July. Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. Let's see what's up with you guys. What crystals are good for my Scorpios for the month of July? Of course you have a suspicious eye, Scorpio. <laughs> I literally just like, I feel like you're like, what's up? What's going on? What's going on over there? What's really going on? Yeah, like, I feel like you're a little suspicious. Um, I feel confusing events are taking place for you, Scorpio. Like you, you, like you identify something that, okay, you identify a truth, what you perceive as a truth. And then all of a sudden it's like, wait, something, something just happened to totally contradict what I thought was the truth. There's like a lot of like, yeah, contradicting energies is almost what I want to say. Cause I feel like some of them are events, others, it's just like your, your intuition and perception about a situation or a person. And it's making it hard for you to like, pinpoint what the truth and reality actually is oh scorpio uh-oh <laughs> july is gonna be interesting for you what crystals are good for my scorpios for the month of july <sighs> you know who else had this word i think it was another water sign that had this word interference i think it was cancer actually i think it was cancer so if you're dealing with cancer have that in your chart um i gotta be honest scorpio i feel like there's like 
interfering energies or some because something's almost like fucking with your signal like something's messing with your intuition i want to say interference this is going to get really interesting what crystals are good for my scorpios for july you're super suspicious right now and scorpio keep in mind mercury retrograding in cancer will do that for, especially for Scorpios. It can cause confusion. And then we have Neptune also retrograding in Pisces. So you have two of your sister signs, right? Um, sign energy. You have Neptune and Mercury retrograding in your sister signs, is how I should say it. Um, yeah, I feel like that's really fucking with your intuition, okay? Well, crystals are good for my Scorpios. For the month of July... What well, crystals are good for my Scorpios for the month of July? What well, crystals are good for my Scorpios? Oh, okay. You and Cancer might have something going on. Cancer had this one too, Citrine. So this is a card that's really good for, a card, excuse me, a crystal. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. Um, this is a crystal that's really good for manifestation, for creativity, productivity, trying to bring in abundance for yourself. That's what you're focused on. You're focused on expanding. You're focused on creating. You're focused on the positive things. But like every time you like make a move towards that or you try to stay focused on that, something distracts you. Something distracts you or something happens or your intuition tells you something where it's like, you might not want to do that. You might not want to go that way. I just feel like something's interfering with your ability to create and progress. I, yeah, I keep wanting to use the word interference, to be totally honest with you. I just saw a white owl. They just showed that to me. A little flash of that. You're trying so hard to rely on your intuition for what it is you want to move towards. But you keep getting like... I just keep feeling you get you keep getting confused. And then when you get confused... You get distracted and then you get pulled off of your, your path here. You're having a really hard time trusting people. I can feel, I mean, you know, no shade, Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio, so I get it. But, you know, that is the shadow side of a Scorpio being very suspicious and paranoid um, and not trusting. But it kind of feels like you have reason to be because things are so confusing right now when it comes to figuring out the truth. graphic smoky quartz smoky quartz is a crystal <laughs> good for scorpios uh, you don't have to have the graphic you can just have a normal uh, smoky quartz for that you, i think you're you're wanting to protect your energy i think you feel like something's not right you the the more you try to progress on your path towards creating whatever it is you want to create and focus on whatever you want to focus on and like you're getting distracted you're getting confused with people and like realities and shit you're just like the more that's happening, the more you're like, something isn't right. I have to protect myself. It's almost like the red flag is the fact that you can't figure it out. <laughs> that's your red flag, though, like something's not right. What's up, Clyde? <laughs> I thought he was about to chase something. What other crystals are good for my Scorpios for the month of July? I just heard January. January might have been significant for you. I feel like this past January, you know, upcoming. Ooh. Scorpio. Now you have Peridot and Blue Lace Agate. You know, it's interesting because I feel like you're actually wanting to retreat and protect your shell. Your, your shell? shell? <laughs> Almost said shell. Yeah, you might be dealing with a cancer. You might have that in your chart. But like, we also have a lot of cancerian energies right now. I feel like you want to protect yourself, like you want to shield yourself. You almost like want to retreat just out of a need to be like, something's not right, so I'm just going to hide until things are right again. But these two, it's almost coming out like you're being pushed to not do that. Like you're being pushed to act. You're being pushed to speak, which is interesting. Peridot is also a crystal that's really good for purging um, and cleansing, but mostly about like emotionally though. And I don't feel like you need to do that. So it's interesting that this is out here. I keep feeling interference. I'm sorry, Scorpio. I keep feeling that. Blue Lace Agate will help you get a little clear-minded. It will. It will definitely help with that. There's a nudge to speak. There... Yeah, there's a nudge to speak. There's a nudge to talk. And you're worried about it. You're worried about it. Because you can tell something isn't right. 
And it's like, for you, it's like, you just, you just want to focus on good things. You just want to focus on good things. You just want to have progress. You want to create, you want to have abundance. You want to manifest. That's just what all we, all we, what you want to do. That's all you want to do. And I just keep feeling like these things keep distracting you or people keep distracting you or energies keep like interfering with you and confusing you. I just feel confusion, but there's a conversation that's like trying to happen. I feel like with someone and it just feels like like a nudge and like every time you feel that nudge to talk or like someone's asking you to talk like you keep feeling like no I can't something's not right something's not right something's not right like it's not safe to interesting yeah like it's like it's not safe to all right let's get into these crystals all right citrine a stone of joy and abundance citrine helps you to interact creatively with the world it promotes inner calm you spend too much time worrying about home family and finances remember you are an abundant being who manifests what you need you are an innocent wise child who yearns to play joyful play creates a wonderful world be grateful for you are blessed accept constructive criticism become emotionally balanced and let feelings flow naturally take time out for joyful play self-regard heals a damaged child abundance is all around you you attract success and prosperity stop worrying be optimistic and allow life to happen trust your intuition and perception consult the wise child within your thoughts on the bigger picture are correct if there's family discord harmony is restored through praise true abundance comes from within if you nurture your desires you'll bring joy to your wise child self the frequency of the stone is high it's great for all the chakras for aries gemini's leos and libras and embodying abundance yeah that's like this is where you want to be so honestly just get some citrine <laughs> just bathe in it shower in it sleep with it uh i think that's gonna help you the most actually out of all of these just based off of what i'm feeling intuitively but well maybe we're gonna find out more anyway so let's see what else is going on yeah graphic smoky quartz supports supports all the structures in the body removing toxic debris and traumatic memories it keeps you grounded and balanced in physical incarnation while exploring other dimensions lack of trust in yourself and other people creates psychological barriers that lie at the heart of your disease your self-esteem is low creating a, de a deficient immune system memories of old traumas have suddenly subtly not suddenly subtly <laughs> amended your ancestral dna at a deep level you have compressed you have been compressed and limited. Allow yourself to expand again. Undertake a shamanic journey into the unseen worlds in search of healing. There you will find the underlying causes of disease and outdated soul imperatives that are affecting your well-being. Offer yourself the gift of transformation. Healing is found in the darkest depths of yourself, not in external forces. The frequency of the sun's earthy and high. Great for all the chakras and exploring taboos, treading where others fear to where others fear to tread. So this will definitely help with the paranoia. <laughs> because like i'm surprised that came up so clear in the description oh that was weird my phone just freaked out that was really weird um but yeah that's that's gonna help you with your confusion around people and like this whole like what's going on what's going on what's going on what's going on i know it's not like a broken record but i just can't shake that feeling and i feel like it's not being expressed enough you're really paranoid that like people around you are up to something and I don't mean that as a judgment. It's just quite literally what I'm feeling. And I think there's some kind of interference or some kind of like, like internal programming or trauma or something, something that's causing a distortion for you. Perido. Freeze the mind from unwelcome envious thoughts and night terrors. It is transmutative and purifying. You are deeply emotional and may possessively cling to the past or beat yourself up over mistakes. By nature, jealous, you have dark thoughts. Detoxify your emotions. Learn to forgive and let go. Follow your own life plan without judging yourself or being envious of others. Oh, okay, before I keep going, uh, they just show me like a journal. Scorpios, these feelings you're having about people, I think you really need to write them down. <laughs> I think you need to write them all down, be super honest in what you're feeling, even if you feel like, okay, maybe that's a little crazy, like write it down, write it down, look at it and, and really just do it, like look at it and turn, like process it to figure out why you really feel this way about these people or, or maybe it's just one person. I feel like it's more than one person though. Um, like really, really analyze it. And if it makes sense, if it's rational, if it's rational, then okay. But if you're like, wait a minute, how did I get there? How did I come to that conclusion? I think it's just going to help you sort out a little bit more of like what could possibly be irrational. <laughs> you know what I mean? Versus something that could be like a little more valid as far as like your, intu your intuition is concerned. Okay. 
All right. Follow your own life plan without judging yourself or being envious of others. You have the power to go through fiery transmutation and emerge transformed. Use energy wisely. Recognize how outside influences operate in your life. Develop your own protection. Learn to rely on your own inner guidance. Peridot indicates farewells and disappointment and love. Avoid jealousy. Be assertive without aggression. You have a powerful destiny and great integrity. Money is earned from your talents. Envy and jealousy harm you as well as hurting others. The frequency of the stones earthy to high, great for the heart and the solar plexus, great for Leos, Virgos, Libras, Scorpios, and Sagis, and emotional purification. All right, let's do blue lace agate. Okay. Blue lace agate connects spirit with intellect, highlighting integrity. It enhances the ability to communicate effectively what is on your mind and heart. Attune to your inner being to express the fullness of who you are. Be confident when speaking in public as you have much to share. You may have been silenced in the past. Repressing thoughts and feelings causes throat problems, so speak your mind gently, honestly, and clearly. You have the gift of serenity. Use it wisely. Speak your heartfelt truth with integrity and confidence. Do not fear being judged. Expect news shortly and keep lines of communication open. Events unfold slowly. Return to basics and start again if necessary. Focus your mind and open your intuition. Your life will be long and happy except your sensitive side. Expressing yourself fully releases neck and shoulder tension of uh, thyroid deficiencies and throat or lymphatic infections. The frequency of the stone is medium to high. Great for the throat, the third eye, the heart, and the crown. Uh, for Geminis and Pisceans and expressing yourself fully. So I would get these two, if anything. Just to get you, just to keep you on track with what it is you want to do anyway, so you don't get distracted from it. But this one also to help you just be a little bit more honest with yourself, a little bit more clear headed and trying to really identify what it is you're actually feeling and where these conclusions of being paranoid of people came from. Because I feel like it's a little extreme. I do feel it's a little on the extreme end. Okay. Just to help you organize yourself a little bit more, just to see through a realistic perspective. A realistic perspective. Aquamarine will also be a good one too if you don't have blue lace agate. Um, but these are the first four, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the second deck. So we have citrine, smoky court, uh, smoky graphic quartz, graphic smoky quartz, peridot, and blue lace agate. Yeah, just be really honest with yourself, Scorpio, before you attempt to talk to anybody, because I can feel a nudge, like you're wanting to question people. <laughs> yeah, oh, Scorpio, you're wanting to question people or talk to people about it. Talk to yourself first. <laughs> Have a conversation with yourself first. Okay. What other crystals are good for my Scorpios for the month of July? Sorry, they keep bringing me back to this journal thing. Even make a category of like facts, intuition, and theory. <laughs> I love you, Scorpios. That will help you. I promise. That will help you. God, that's so Scorpionic. It's not even funny. Uh, what other crystals are good for my Scorpios for the month of July? What other crystals are good for my Scorpios for the month of July? What other crystals are good for my Scorpios for the month of July? What other crystals are good for my Scorpios for the month of July? Okay, that feels good. What other crystals are good for my Scorpios? That's too many. Less cards, please. What other crystals are good for my Scorpios for the month of July? Oh. Ah, lapis lazuli. Actually, I'm wearing that right now. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, I'm going to read this actually when we get more cards out. I actually like it's about your integrity. I'm, I, I'm surprised that came out because I wouldn't say that lapis lazuli might help you with this paranoia. I feel like this is just more about keeping your integrity intact with, yeah, with how you approach people. There you go. With how you're approaching people or handling people right now. Because again, it's like, I can feel your, your like, retreat, retreat, not safe, not safe. Something's not right. Something's not right. They're all up to something. <laughs> but then at the same time, because you think they're up to something, you're trying really hard to go in and figure it out and like interrogate people. So yeah, you might not be handling people in their best manner in July.
What other crystals are good for my Scorpios for the month of July? What other crystals? What other crystals are good for my Scorpios for the month of July? What other crystals are good for my Scorpios for the month of July? Oh, that's it. Okay. So we only got one from this deck. Again, Lapis Lazuli. A deep blue stone with deep history. See ancient Egypt. Uh, King Tut's eyeshadow, the Old Testament, the high priest of Israel's vestments, and the Dutch Golden Age Vermeers? V E R M E E R. I'm not a historian. <laughs> Vermeers palette. People who need it. Cat people, Leos, anyone who uses the phrase, in a past life, I'm totally convinced I was a blank. Where to put it as a spiritual armor to let the world know when I walk into a room, it's customary for y'all to bend to the knee. When to use it, when your thoughts are not your friends. <laughs> Call a lapis lazuli to help you get out of whatever your mind has gotten you into. Ascend your rightful throne. Again, I feel like it's just to keep you in your integrity, okay? While you try to organize fact from what you feel, from what your intuition may be telling you, and from your theories, okay? <laughs> Don't, like, yeah, like, stop, I almost want to say stop interrogating people and just sit with yourself for a little bit and just organize, organize yourself, just organize yourself, okay? But Lapis Lazuli came out, just so you guys, for the ones who want to write them down, um, if you're ready for the tarot card reading, go ahead to the timestamp, graphic smoky quartz, I can't hold these upright, citrine, And then Blue Lace Agate and Peridot. Aquamarine will be a good replacement for Blue Lace Agate if you don't have Blue Lace Agate. Aquamarine is very, pretty common. Okay. Let's do it, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on in your world. Uh, yeah, Muse Rider Wait. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of July? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals in the month of July? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of July? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of July? I gotta be honest, Scorpio, I do feel like someone's energy might be influencing you a little bit. Or just making you confused. Um, oh, interesting. Look what's on the bottom. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I feel like someone either around you or someone that you're very energetically connected to might be adding confusion to the mix, okay? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals the month of July? Why do my Scorpios need these? Ooh. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, Scorpio. So this is a Scorpio card, Seven of Cups in reverse. I'm glad it's in reverse, though, because it tells me that you're really determined to make sense of things. That's what you're determined to do. But again, don't let it distract you from whatever it is you're working on. I can feel whatever this is associated with energetically for you. That's very positive. Stay on track with this, whether it's a project, manifestation, happiness confidence, whatever. Hold on to whatever energy is connected to this. Wear citrine every day in July if you have to, okay? Um, but you're determined to make sense of the mess, to make sense of the fogginess, of the confusion, of the paranoia. Why else do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of July? That really wants to come out. Mm, Scorpio, Ace of Cups. So like I said, your intuition telling you something's not right. with the, And I feel like it's definitely relating to the people you're talking to or the people you're interacting with. You're almost trying to suss out who's the true blue out of the seven. Like it, it feels like that, almost like 
there's a bunch of distorted energies around you that you're dealing with and it's like you can feel that like actually you can feel most of them are not kosher you can feel most of them whoa oh that just made my neck spasm oh man wow yeah i'm gonna take that as confirmation holy and it was just the back of my neck definitely tells me that's the throat chakra wow that was very uncomfortable yeah, you can feel most of them are not aligned to your higher self or your path or like they're up to no good, whatever. You can just tell, you can feel it. But I think because there's more of them than not, it's adding confusion. And so the ones that are kind of like true blue to you, um, they're harder to see, like they're harder to feel, they're harder to sense is actually what I'm getting. And like I said, the energies we're dealing with in July, even going into July, Neptune retrograde in Pisces, Mercury retrograding in Cancer, will add a lot of confusion, especially for water signs, okay? Um, you're trying to figure that out, though. You're trying to figure it out. Why else do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of July? You're also trying not to repeat cycles is what I'm getting to. I don't, there's two more cards here, but um, they're face down. I haven't seen them yet. Because there's a Six of Cups energy with this as well. Um, I feel like you're trying really hard to not repeat the same mistakes. And I think that's why you're like, you're determined to figure it out. Because I think you can also sense that. Like, if you choose the wrong cup or you dismiss the true blue on accident, like, because I do feel like you're very confused. You're, you're not seeing it clearly, right? So you can accidentally reject or pull away from someone that's very genuine, right? Part of your true path here. Um you're going to repeat a cycle or a mistake that I think that you're really trying not to repeat. <sighs> oh, oh, Scorpio. <laughs> Page of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, this is you. You're like, I'll be damned if any of you stab me in the back. <laughs> oh, Scorpio. Oh, I'm like, oh, I feel for you. I really feel for you. Like, literally, that's what you're looking at. You're looking at all the cups, all the, and it does feel, it does feel like people. It could be options because it is a seven of cups and it's general, but it feels like people to me. You're looking at all these people and you're like, which one's the real one? Which one's the real one? Which is it? Which is it? Which is it? What's the truth? What's the truth? And here you are as the page of swords, like, like I'm ready. Try, just try, try to stab me in the back. Just try. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, just take time. Just take some time. Oh my God. And look what was peeking out. Two of Cups in reverse. Cancer. Soulmate energy. Yeah, you'll be damned if you're going to repeat any mistakes or if you're going to allow anyone to get one over you. But I got to be honest, Scorpio, it's coming at the cost of paranoia. Okay? It really is. I can. I, it feels extreme. It feels a little extreme. Obviously, this isn't going to be for all Scorpios here. Um, for some of you, the cycle you don't want to repeat is not just being taken advantage of, but like maybe even like having your heart broken. Because we do have a lot of water going on here. Um, yeah, you're, you're standing strong in that page of swords. Like, oh, damn, I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to figure this shit out. I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> Ooh, this is intense, Scorpio. Why else did my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of July? Why else did my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of July? Ooh, Eight of Cups, Pisces energy. So you're trying to go to your Ten of Cups. That's what you're focused on. I feel like this is where the citrine is coming in. <laughs> Just only wear citrine. Just only wear citrine and like an aquamarine or blue lace agate. That's the only, those are the ones I would really recommend you get. Smoky Quartz is good for Scorpios too. But anyway, uh, <laughs> Eight of Cups. So like this is about leaving something behind. Most definitely. Most definitely. Sorry, I'm just looking at the illustration for a second. They told me to. The disappointment. The disappointment. You're tempted to just walk away from everything just to avoid disappointment. Yeah, it's so interesting. I'm like seeing all of the cards that came out like in this one card. Like I'm seeing five of cups energy right here. And then like with like right here where they're, Jesus, where are my words? They're right in between a one cup and two, right? Like avoiding these kind of situations. 
um, avoiding situations where people have taken advantage of them or advantage of you, right? Um, and with that one ace of cup, it's like really wanting that genuine cup, really wanting that genuine person, really wanting the true blue. I keep wanting to say true blue. Maybe that's something that you guys say personally in your own lives. But Scorpio, you're willing to walk away from everything just to avoid it. That's interesting. I mean, that's very Scorpionic, right? It's like, for those who used to watch Mana, I miss her so much. Um, I loved how she would describe that with Scorpios. And it's very true. Like, a Scorpio would cut off their own tail just to avoid getting hurt. Like, they'd rather hurt themselves, you know what I mean? And then just regenerate and, like, they'll be fine. Like, a Scorpio will die and just rise again. Like, <laughs> you know? That's kind of what I'm feeling with a Scorpio. You're willing to say, fuck all of this? Because there's no way in hell I'm letting this happen to me. And I want to say again. I do want to say again. Oh, Scorpio, so intense. Um, again, I really suggest you just take some time with yourself. Really write down everything. Like, write down your feelings. Write down the facts. Write down intuitively what you think you're feeling or picking up on. And then write down your theories. Look at all of it. Organize it that way. And then that might give you a lot of clarity as to what it is you're dealing with here. But yeah, you're willing to sacrifice it all just, just, to, just to avoid that. Just to avoid that. Whew. Oh, my head's hurting. Overall, we have Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I, I heard retract. Retract. Uh, Taurian energy. I know you thought we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy. Yeah, drop, drop, retract. Yeah, you're willing to literally sacrifice all of the cups. Because, again, I, I really want to say it that way. Like, you'll be damned if that's going to happen to you. Now, I got to be honest, Scorpio, I don't know if that's the best thing. But if that's what you feel, you know, confident. Well, actually, now that I just saw this, underneath that, we have temperance, sad energy, which is kind of, which is healing energy. So it possibly is the right decision for you. I think you should try to go with my advice and then see how you feel. And if you're still like, screw it, I'm just wiping the slate clean. I'm not going to do any of it. Then that's fine. Totally get it. Totally understand. Um, wow. So intense, Scorps. So intense. But yeah, you're, you're totally retracting. I feel like you're just going to drop all of it, not give any energy to anybody. And that's going to be your decision. Almost like not just choosing yourself, but because Scorpios, because you are like death and rebirth, like you understand better than anybody that getting rid of everything allows for only new to come in. Death and rebirth. And, I, and in your mind, I think you're thinking that's way safer of a gamble, even if there is a true blue among the group, that's way safer of a gamble to just wipe the slate completely clean than trying to figure this out. Wow, super Scorpionic. So Scorpios, I wish you luck. I really do. Uh, I, I really do. I really do. Take a spa day. Do something to chill out and relax your mind a little bit here because your mind is definitely going haywire. Um, but... I think you'll be fine. I think you'll do whatever it is you have to do for your best interest, okay? Uh, I Thank you for hanging out. Thanks for coming out. And don't forget to check out Vimeo on Patreon. Everything else you need is linked below for your convenience. And I'll see you guys soon. Have a good month, Scorpio. <laughs> have a good month and a good night, okay? Namaste.